<clears throat> All right, it looks like we are once again live. Welcome everybody to another episode of Yankees America Guns and Freedom Podcast. Uh, today is going to is kind of the uh, blood on the badge edition because I do want to talk a little more about uh, what we talked about yesterday after doing a little research. <clears throat> but uh, before we do, let's get on with the spiel here. Uh, if you are new to our channel, this is just a conversation between myself and my viewers. It's a place you can come for about an hour every day and have conversations with like-minded individuals over there in the live chat if you don't want to talk to me. But if you do want to talk to me, that's what I'm here for. So you can ask me questions, so you can suggest topics, and most importantly, so you can spank the yank if you need to, which I'm sure a lot of you are doing right now. Uh, uh, euphemism wise, but uh, you can come in the live chat. And let me know. I've been wrong about something. If you disagree with something I said, all you got to do is let me know and have a microphone and you can come on in. <clears throat> Otherwise, if you just want to ask me questions or suggest topics, all you got to do is put it over there in the live. Uh, make sure you put at the Yankee Marshall, like it says down here in my video feed in front of your question. That way I will have a better chance of seeing it. Still can't promise I'll see it, but hopefully I'll see it. Uh, sometimes we run out of time before we run out of questions and I'm always behind in the chat. So don't repeat questions, put them in there once and once only because it screws up the chat. If you, uh, repeat stuff multiple times, uh, I will hopefully get to your question before the chat is over. If not, I apologize. It wasn't on purpose. Uh, if you've got a question or a comment, you definitely want answered immediately, or you want to suggest. Uh, or excuse me, or you want to jump to the front of the line as far as questions being answered because you don't want to wait. Uh, you can do a super chat. Super chats are also a way to fund the Pets and Vets program. So you can do that if you just want to fund the Pets and Vets program, the Friend program, and the Voices program. <clears throat> so uh, feel free to do those if you would like. So what helps keep the channel running helps what it's what helps. Fun, that's pretty much all the money we make on YouTube right now is super chats. Uh, if you took Super Chats out of my daily earnings on YouTube, it doesn't leave much. It leaves a few bucks from YouTube Red and the grand occasional ad that's usually my older videos. Uh, uh, but yeah, so you can do Super Chats if you want. Uh, like I said, that funds Pets and Vets. The best way to fund Pets and Vets, though, is if you want to go over to Patreon and become a member. Uh, that way we get to keep most of the money. Uh, less than one third of one percent. Well, it's actually less now than one fifth of one percent of my subscribers are supporters. So if I could get that up to one percent, we'd be rolling. Uh, but uh, right now it's less than one. Well, it's between one fourth and one fifth, one quarter and one fifth percent of because I got about 800 people that are. What does that come to? 800 out of 300. How many viewer subs do I have? It hasn't changed in. A week because every time I get subs, they take them away. But we got 367, and it was just it was just above uh, 367,300 a minute ago for the first time in a week. It moved above 299, but now it's back down to 299 because it was up to like 303 and they took it right back down. <clears throat> it won't go above 367,299 for some reason for the last week. But okay, let's see 3,000. I'm just curious here. Uh, where's the calculator on this fucking thing? I know there is one. There it is. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I've got about 800 and let's just say 900 to be uh, generous. Divided by 367,299 equals... 0. 0.0024. <clears throat> so let's see. Uh, that's not a big percentage, is it? We got to take off the first two zeros. So that's less than a quarter of 1%. So <clears throat> it might even be lower than that, but I'm not sure. Less than a quarter of 1% of people actually do anything. So be one of the people that actually puts your money where your mouth is, even if it's just a dollar a month. Uh, <clears throat> so we can do pets and vets and we can do TYM triple P and we can do, uh, the friend drawing and we can do, uh, the voices program. People keep saying, go to another platform. I'm like, what other platform would I be able to do those things? Would we be able to fund 
you know, five guns given away every month, uh, uh, multiple pet and veteran charities donated to every month, individuals helped with their vet bills uh, almost every month. Uh, what other platform would allow that? And plus, if I move to a platform that's gun friendly, well, the only people watching my videos are gun friendly people. We're not going to make our community grow by just preaching to the choir. We got to convert people. That's our number one goal right now. Convert people. Uh, preach the gospel of the gun. So, uh, and I got to reach the people that are here on YouTube. It wouldn't do any good to go over to a gun friendly only place and preach. It's like if you if you're wanting to win over new Christians, you're never going to do it preaching from the pulpit. You got to get out there on the road. And it's the same thing with the gun community. Guard dog looks like he joined the WAP. So everybody move over, and make room for guard dog. Uh, <clears throat> uh, and also, if you're a WAP member now, uh, if you've noticed, I've been trying to put videos up early for you guys. Sometimes it's just a couple hours early. Sometimes it's a day early. Uh, like one of the videos today, it's up a day early and there'll be another one that's up late early up later after the chat that won't be available to everybody else for tomorrow. Cause I know you guys like to be the first people to comment. So it gives you all the first, right of uh, first refusal, I guess. You'll get to be the first ones to tell me why my video sucks. <clears throat> uh, Jacoby also uh, chimed in here said, either I'm clumsy or this is not for me. I almost broke my fingers replacing a train coupling today. I only cut the skin learning curve. Ah, Y'all, people always get hurt at first. Good God. Look what I did to my finger yesterday. My fingernail's coming off. Uh, I noticed after I smashed it that the front side of the fingernail was up off the bed. So I had to push it back down and put a Band-Aid on it. And hopefully it'll take back, uh, which I've had that happen before. And it took back. But uh, of course, I've had it happen before and the nail doesn't. But uh, I did that on taking a... Uh, uh, clearing a gun and I've fucking cleared a gun a million times. So don't be too hard on yourself. Just don't get run over by a train. You should be fine. Never understood how people get run over by trains. Happens here in Portland all the time. People get run over by a max train. I'm like, how do you fucking get run over by a max train? They're not that fast and they're very loud. And even if you're deaf, they shake the fucking ground when they're coming. So if you're like walking on the tracks and you're deaf, when it starts vibrating, get off the fucking tracks. But people get hit every fucking day. Some, uh, there's probably at least one fatality every two weeks. And there's incidents almost every day. <clears throat> so it's, it's I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? How do you get hit by a train? And the trains are usually doing like seven miles an hour when they actually hit people. Because it's usually at intersections and it stops and stuff. And I'm like, good Lord. If you get hit by a train, you almost kind of deserve to get hit by a train. Uh, let's see, where are we at here? Oh, I was doing the spiel. <clears throat> uh, so like I said, you can either do super chats or become a patron to support uh, uh, TYM Triple P. We got one new patron today. Uh, we got a lot of people who reduced their patronage today. We got four people who reduced how much they donate every week. But we got one person, Christopher Purdy. Uh, became a member today. So that was a positive. Uh, the other program we run is TYM Triple P. More on that in a second. I got a, a chat here from Iowa Joe. Uh, Iowa Joe weighed in and said, for the wear possum pole dancing fund, I think the lore says wear possums only grow to double a normal possum size. <clears throat> That's still pretty big. I mean, that would be a possum. I mean, I've seen some pretty big possums. Uh, I mean, when I lived out in uh, the McClintic uh, Game Reserve when I was a kid, uh, I have seen possums that I thought at first were dogs. And I'm like, what is that dog doing over there? And it was a fucking possum. So it depends if you're looking at the extreme size of possums. Uh, that could be as big as a small man. Uh or double a regular possum size is still the size of a, of a medium sized dog. And I wouldn't want to mess with that. So, although I don't really believe in freaking possums, wear possums. I'm not crazy. I'm not cuckoo. Yeah, it'd be kind of cuckoo to believe in wear possums. Plus, how do you kill a wear? Well, are they like regular possums? Cause I know like werewolves are, are, are dangerous cause they'll eat you. Because regular wolves would eat you if they got the chance. 
<clears throat> they were hungry, but possums are friendly. So are where possums friendly? Do they go, do they just like come in your yard and clean up and eat all the parasites and uh, take out all the ticks and fleas and all that other stuff and then go see you later and walk off? Because if that's what they do, well, then I hope I get some bear possums in my yard. Maybe they can take care of my mole problem. Although they probably are pretty friendly with the moles. I would think. We got a lot of moles. Uh, our front yard, there's one area of our front yard that's over here to the right of the driveway. Well, as you're looking out of our yards to the right of the driveway. If you're coming up the driveway, it's to the left. There's like a yard there. It's probably like, I don't know, uh, a fifth of an acre. Uh, maybe a quarter of an acre. Uh, and I just leave it undone. I don't do anything to it. I don't mow it or nothing uh, because it got too hard to mow it because of the fucking groundhog uh, mounds. So now I just seed it with wildflowers every spring and it just grows flowers over there to cover up the groundhog uh, mole, uh, mounds or the mole mounds. Uh, but uh, in the summer, in the winter, like now, you just see them. They're just all over over there. Can't see it from the house, but Still, if you look out there, you can see it. <clears throat> Back then, <clears throat> uh, P and V people hit by trains were probably railroaded. I don't think so. I don't think that. I don't. I have never seen any like an uh, influx of a lot of you know like mustachioed villains with black capes and top hats or anything. So I don't think there's a lot of people being like tied to the tracks or anything. I think. I think more than than you know the what's that villain that was in Dudley do right all the time. Uh, Snidely whiplash. Was that it? Uh, I don't think it's so much of that as it is like crack and, and fentanyl and stuff. They just wander off in front of trains. Uh, <clears throat> Dale Rickety said, I got nothing. <clears throat> that added a conversation. That's what he's meaning. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, also the programs we run is one of them is TYM Triple P. Uh, if you are a TYM Triple P, Triple P recipient of this month's drawing, you've already got your email. Respond to it. I think I've got a couple of them already responded. Uh, you've got till the 28th. to re Well, no, you actually have to the 30th because I sent the email out a little late. Or no, did I send to the 28th? Well, I think you have to the 28th till I send that off to grab again. If you want to be in the next drawing, in the running for the next drawing, uh, go on over to tympistolproject.com and uh, sign up. <clears throat> if you want to support it, well, then go over and become a Subscribestar member. Uh, support the channel through Subscribestar. Uh, every little bit helps. Uh, Subscribestar supports TYM Triple P. Patreon supports all the other stuff. <clears throat> We've only got 101 Subscribestar members but we've got like 700 and something Patreon members. <clears throat> Used to be almost 1,500. Now it's down to like seven. My views have gone to a quarter and my patronage has dropped away. Well, patronage drops away because nobody sees you anymore. So, uh, but like I was saying, uh, TY and Triple P, if you want to sign up, go over, sign up. If you want to support it, go become a subscribe star member or buy merch. I added some new merch today uh, because someone had asked for this and I finally got around putting it up where is it i know i had it where is it? that's not it there it is uh i put up uh the uh subjugate and punish uh law enforcement cap there so for you know modern militized militarized police thin blue line to subjugate and punish you know their motto instead of serve and protect it's to subjugate and punish uh, <clears throat> so if you want that one, go on over and get it. It's available. It's available now. I uh, also got a picture here from Tim Allen, one of the winners of the hat giveaway. He got his, uh, I almost said Squidward, Phil, uh, the cosmic croctopus, uh, protector of the celestial watermelon. Uh, he got his hat to show he is a, a, a an acolyte of Phil. Uh, <clears throat> I guess I should put a link to the products in case anybody wants to go over and get it. I'll put it over here in the live chat. Boop, boop. Boop. I don't know. Can I pin it to the top? Will it let me? Sometimes it lets me. Sometimes it doesn't. There. I think I pinned it to the top. All right. Let's get back over here. 
Oh, Peter D's here. And I want to let Peter D know I'm pissed because I was doing a video today and I was almost to the end of it. And an email popped in from him about his holster. Uh, did I ever get that picture downloaded that he sent me? I was like, that motherfucker. Uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. He got his uh, 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 Zula holster. That looks different than my Zula holsters. Why is that so different? Huh. Well, let's, let me show it. It looks a lot different than my Zulas. See, because look at that picture here. And let me find one of my Zula holsters. Is it because that one's brown? Is that why I'm thinking it looks so different? I think it's because that one's brown. See, mine's are mine are all black. Well, you can't see me right now. Uh, mine are all black, and I think that's because they have the since they have the black stitching, it's making them look a lot different than his. I'm liking that brown with the white stitching or cream stitching, whatever they want to call it. Cream. Remember that song by Prince? Cream. <laughs> Uh, but your D chimed in here and said, haven't ordered a Lobo in like two years. Just ordered one last week for my new 640. Forgot how much the waiting sucks. Oh yeah, the waiting sucks. I have a holster ordered and I can't even remember who it's from now, but I got it because they did some nice tooling on the front of it and stuff. And I wanted it for my, uh, when I carry my nice, uh, engraved Ruger, uh, so uh, you think I would have got it for the Python, but I don't ever carry the Python. I'm too worried about messing it up. So I've got that engraved Ruger that I carry. Uh, you know, that one, right? If you watched my video on uh, my carry rotation, that Ruger right there, <clears throat> which you didn't because almost nobody did. Uh, you'll see that's part of my carry that I ordered a new hoster. For, and that's been so long, I can't hardly remember who it was. Uh I'm like, today I sat down and tried to see, well, what was the name of that company? So I can look it up and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to have to go back through my payments and see who I paid it to. So. Yeah, that ain't, that's not good to forget that. But yes, the waiting sucks. Especially when it's one of those places where I think when I ordered it, it was like, waiting time can be up to six to eight months or something like that. And I'm just like, oh my God. But I wanted it because of the tooling. So. Uh, Mike D said, because a Paul needs a hand. Um, and I think that catches us up with the super chats. It does. <clears throat> uh, did I finish the spiel? No, I didn't finish the spiel, did I? Uh, or you can go buy merchandise, like I said. Uh, let's read if anybody bought any merchandise today to say thank you. Uh, do I not have Printify up? I don't think I have Printify up. Hold on. Let's see. Orders. It doesn't look like there's been any orders. Uh, there's one order today. It's on hold. And it's a Guns and Puppies mug. Well, that's a blast from the past. Haven't sold one of those in a while. There's actually new models of those up, new designs of that up. But uh, he got the old one with the red handle and stuff. Uh, but that is on hold. I got to put the money in there so it will go through. But that's the only order today. We have sold one mug. We made $5. Uh, did we sell anything yesterday? I don't even know if we sold anything yesterday. Uh, the last order over here was March 19th. Let's see on the other page. Uh, we sold one thing yesterday and I read that. Uh, Ronald Coates and the day before that was Karen Woodson and that's about it we've had like one or two orders maybe a day <clears throat> so we're definitely uh, the channel is definitely uh, suffering because uh, you can't advertise your product if people don't see your videos so uh, I think Welper is finally banned I don't think so Welper shouldn't be banned I hope nobody banned Welper I mean, I think that would get you in trouble. I think it's like to be against the Americans with Disabilities Act or something. Uh, 
so we so hopefully nobody did that. Do I have to make Welper a a mod so nobody can ban him? Uh, uh he might go ban everybody though if he was a mod. <clears throat> uh let me see, where am I at? Did I finish everything? I finished everything. We didn't have anybody to read. So let me go over here, get to make sure I got all the super chats. I do, and then we'll start the regular questions. You all don't know how close I have been over the last few days to just saying, fuck YouTube. I ain't making another video. I ain't doing nothing. I'm not even going to tell people where I went. I'm just going to disappear and let people create their own, uh, Legends of whatever happened to me. Uh, dealing with YouTube is just getting to where it, it ain't worth the frustration. <clears throat> uh, where was I? Good evening, all in the chat. Had that intimate encounter with a female squat. Any recommendations on dealing with bruises and tenderness? No, I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't know. How would I know? I don't get into the rough stuff. Uh, Glock Perfection, the best gun ever made. I don't agree with that, though. No. Uh, where are the Marjorie Taylor Green fans at? Didn't she just get, like, in trouble or something? Like, she was just trying to oust the speaker again or something. Which is, is just make things worse. Uh, good evening, Yankee. <clears throat> good evening, ye old fartette. Where, what's in your holster? I ain't wearing a holster. And I couldn't show you if, if I was. Um, Amtrak East Coast, they have someone commit suicide by train almost every day. I would find a better way to kill myself than a train. I mean, at least jump off a tall building or something, because then you get to enjoy the, 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 the ride down. Uh, the train, I'd find, I'd be afraid I'd just end up knocked under the wheels and it'd cut my legs off or, or my dick in my legs and I'd just be an invalid with no dick for the rest of my life. Uh, <clears throat> what Would it be mean if you shot your flowers with a BB gun for practice? I wouldn't shoot flowers. Why would I shoot flowers? It's like I have a rule with my kids, no shooting live trees. Uh, you can shoot the dead trees. If you go out here into the woods and shoot, you can shoot the dead ones, but you can't shoot the live trees. Uh, at 5.55 p.m. your time, I sent an email subject, Phil Hat. Yep, I already showed it. Uh, do, do, do. Got my hat today, said Daniel, man. Well, good. Good, good, good. Um, locked in the new arrival save the 40s but it, he doesn't show any oh wait one of the attachments is not downloaded I was going to say there's no save the 40s stuff in this picture I edited the, the, the uh, list today so you should be on the video tomorrow uh, let's see here. There we go. He sent a picture of his new Save the 40s magnet next to his uh, mouse guns magnet. Excuse me. Um, all right, let me get back over where I was at. Um, stuck in traffic. Am I getting docked in pay? Well, he's not paid. Uh, got my flags today. They make, they dress up the gun safe quite a bit. Well, good. Why didn't you send a picture if you're telling me that? Didn't even send a picture. <clears throat> um, whoops. Well, did I get all the way to the bottom already? If we are, are we out of chats already? We might be. Uh, yeah, I think we're about out of questions already i uh, got my flags today they may i uh, read that what do you think of student loan forgiveness don't you wish that you had that well yeah i wish they'd have had that when i was paying my student loans off but uh uh it's one of those things where i'm like well unless i think what a thing i think it should be is that student loans should be included in bankruptcies if you go bankrupt you should have be able to have your student loans forgiven 
uh, but not just forgive them. A lot of these people that have these big student loans are making hundreds of thousand dollars a year, just don't want to pay them uh, because they don't want, they think they shouldn't have to. But uh, uh, I mean, it's, if that's, that's one thing. But another thing is like, I'm like, if you file bankruptcy, like you just can't make ends meet and you had a medical bill that just wiped you out, blah, blah, blah. And you file bankruptcy. Well, up till now, um, student loans aren't included in that or no debt. You owe the state like that money for the. Uh, so it's just a scam. I hate it. Um, you should make Welper mod. I don't even know if he's here tonight. Uh, maybe Rumble is worth a second chance. Wow, this, from everything I hear from everybody, nobody watches videos on Rumble. Like, I was watching a video by one person who said, you know, if I make a video on YouTube, it'll get 2,000 views. The same video I put over on Rumble gets like six views. So that's just really not worth it. Uh, me first, legend is Yankee died on the toilet. We got to come up with something better than that. That's just ripping off Elvis. Uh, thank you for doing the TYM Triple P three days ago. I received my email, responded, and I'm just waiting for the process to get my gun. Well, good. Uh, if if you responded, it should be over there, but I haven't actually made the list yet because I don't send it over till the 28th. I did see that one person asked for a shotgun, which is unusual. And I, I was like, oh, well, then that's all they live in California. <clears throat> the series Shogun is historically inaccurate. Shocking. A samurai would have rapidly killed a brazen, disrespectful Englishman who he suspected of screwing his wife. Well, go figure that the mo TV movie, the old one, uh, about a white guy who becomes a samurai is not historically accurate. Uh, in Alaska, needed to take a tree down and didn't feel like dragging out the chainsaw, so he used 30 30. Uh, my grandfather used to cut down a Christmas tree that way. We'd go out in the woods and he'd just shoot it down with a shotgun. That's how we got a Christmas tree every year. Did you like Don Rickles? Yeah, I thought Don Rickles was funny. And I liked like uh, CPO Sharky and uh, like when he was on shows like Carol Burnett and stuff, I always thought he was very funny. Uh, I liked the roasts uh, when he was, especially when he was on the roasts. But uh, uh, yeah, I did. I liked, like I said, CPO Sharky, his, his TV show, and I liked his stand up. So. so I guess I'd say, yes, I like Don Rickles. Oh, and we all, we will be doing a hat giveaway tonight. Uh, so in case people were wondering, I forgot to announce it again tonight, just like I did last night, which we didn't end up getting a lot of people. But uh, at the end of the thing, if if you've done a super chat, hang around because we'll be choosing people from the super chats to uh, give away a free hat, shirt or flag, whichever one they choose. Small flag. Uh, if I can't carry a fire, what? if I can't carry a firearm, if I am in a foreign country, then no criminal alien should be allowed to carry a gun in the U.S. Well, I don't know if I agree with that position 100% because I don't base our laws here on what their laws there are. I like to think we're better. So I don't just do tit for tat. We do what they do. Um, where did I just end up at here? It just... Uh, true social question mark. Yeah. They said that that's going to go public and it's going to be worth 3 billion. And I'm like, how is it worth $3 billion? The two years they've been operating or three years now that they've been operating there, they've never come close to making a profit. In fact, this last year, their operating costs were, I forget what it was like. Uh, 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 well, their operating costs were like $54 million. And they only made $4 million. So they ended up $50 million in the hole, but suddenly they're worth billions of dollars. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get any of those initial purchase. Uh, <clears throat> what do they call it? Uh, social media thing, bullshit, and how much they're supposedly worth. It's like, there's no way Tesla is worth the billions and billions of dollars it's ranked at. 
Uh, it's all inflated value. It's fake value on paper that goes to a small number of people who they inflate it up to where it's worth. They'll be like, oh, there's a well, there's a hundred thousand people that own a million stocks in this company and each stock's worth a million dollars because it's a billion dollar company or a hundred million billion dollar company. Well, then the like two percent of the people who own the most of the stock. Uh, will sell theirs off at that high price, taking all the value out of the company. And then everybody else is left with a company that's now valueless. And that's kind of how these things work. Uh, and Tesla, there's, they sell not even a tenth as many cars as Ford, but they're worth like 10 times as much. That doesn't make sense. Uh, and plus now the market that he used to have a hold on, used to be able to say, well, it's the only car in the game for that. Well, now there's fucking thousand cars in the game. So I don't get the valuation of these things. Uh, was killed by an opossum that killed Gary. Uh, I hope I don't get killed by opossum. Opossums wouldn't do that. They're nice. You got to attack them first. And I ain't attacking none. Uh, I've been noticing large numbers of homeless, undocumented people here in Miami that tell me they were flown here from New York City. Well, we don't have the facilities for them here. Well, who does have the facilities for them? If the government wants to be able to house these people, well, then they need to go down and build some government housing right over the other side of the border, or I guess maybe on this side, if they can get the land, if they want to keep them down there, like make a border inside a border. But uh, if, there's no, the states shouldn't be having to house the people because there's just no, plus then if they find, you find out, no, nope, we're not getting your asylum. Well, they're already in a city somewhere working illegally and blah, blah, blah. They're not going to leave. Um, Glocked in says, do you own or tried a Rock Island revolver? I have not, and I do not, and I've never been impressed with them, but some of the newer ones seem nicer, but still, uh, not what I'd call impressive. Uh, don't give up. Fight the good fight. It's always darkest before the dawn. I appreciate all the work you do for the different charities. You know, when it's also darkest, right before you die. Uh, <clears throat> when your eyes close for the last time. And, uh, and I am getting very close to that. <laughs> I'm getting very sick of being just fed up with YouTube. I'm sick of sitting on their chats and their condescending attitudes when you actually talk to somebody that, oh, we're a community and we want voices from all different sides of the spectrum. And then they wink, wink, and they throw in that. It's just that some voices don't, you know, aren't uh, compatible with our business model, blah, blah, blah. You know, in other words, fuck off. But And like, you know, when you rate your videos as safe and okay, the content, like we're not violating any guidelines. I mean, I'm honest and I say there's probably swearing and there's guns in it. So it's not going to make money because it's going to be limited advertising because I swear and there's guns in it. But they'll tell me that, oh, it's it violates guidelines. And I'll say, no, it doesn't. And I'll ask for a review and then it won't. It, it turns out it doesn't. The, the rare time it does, it still doesn't, but there's no recourse. Once they say, Yo, yeah, we were right the first time. There's no recourse for that at all. But I would have to say out of the last two weeks, almost every video I've put up has had to go through the process. Had to go through the, they say, hey, this video is risky. I say, no, it isn't. And then they come back the next day and say, okay, you're right, it wasn't. Everyone, for the last two weeks, almost every video I've done that with. Yet my rating system, they say I'm still bad at choosing, saying whether my videos are suitable or not. Uh, because they're like, no, you, your, your uh, accuracy is low. No, my accuracy has been 100%. Your accuracy is low when you say they're violations of policy. But uh, they still won't change it. Um, how about how about legend has one of Gary's children came for revenge? Yank said, hello, my name is Inigo Glocktoya, and you killed my father prepared to die. Well, I guess that's something. It's not very creative. It seems like a ripoff of something else. Uh, what 357 mag ammo should I shoot through a vintage model 66 Smith and Wesson 158 grain mag? Okay. Uh, well, there's websites dedicated to telling you which ammos are going to be okay in that. Uh, as long as you stay away from like 
heavy loaded stuff, you know, like double tap and uh, super high velocity rounds, you'll be fine. But uh, uh, there's websites that do that. I do a little research and you should be able to find some info pretty easily. Uh, Go Shadow, a few years ago, YouTube was putting butt lube commercials on pro gun channels. Yes, I know. I remember that. <clears throat> uh, people think we get paid for every video that shows up on our videos. We don't, <clears throat> especially not gun channels and channels they don't like because they do this thing where they ask you, do you want commercials on your video? And if you say yes, well, they don't got to give you commercials. If you say no, there's a little thing that says we still reserve the right to put videos on your commercials uh, or commercials on your videos. Uh, and if you are denied, like if your video is, if you read your little user agreement thing, if your video is declared to be unsuitable for most advertisers, you will not receive revenue, but YouTube still reserves the right to put overflow ads on your video if they've got ads that day that didn't make it, you know, like they have to run an ad 10 times and they've only run it eight and they got, they get desperate. They have the right to put that on your video. If the company itself isn't opposed, like they don't list any preferences. Like they're like, put us on any video. We don't care. Uh, they have a right to put that on your video, even though your video is demonetized and they'll make money off of it, but you won't. Uh, the first time that my network rep explained that to me, I was because I was like, I just saw an ad on my video. I went on my phone, not signed into YouTube, watched one of my videos, saw an ad at the beginning of it, yet I haven't made a penny in advertising. And that's when I got that explained to me. And I was not happy about that. Uh, I thought it was funny when Don Rickles says, hey, fatty, I called Basket Robbins. They told me they're down to four flavors. Yeah, after they were in there. Yeah, I like Don Rickles. He's an insult comic, and I like insult comedy. Uh, I like Don Rickles. I like uh, 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 Red Fox. In fact, like I always tell the story, my aunt bought me a Red Fox album for my birthday when I was like seven or eight years old. She didn't know he was dirty in his stand-up. You know, my grandpa walks fast past the door and he says, hey, woman, well, pussy stinks. And wash your ass and all that stuff. And she, he's like, what the fuck? Uh, we are better. But, oh, oh, we're, we're uh, better than what? Uh... Can you ever... Can you ever unshadow banned from YouTube? I did some research the other day on getting, because I saw videos about being getting unshadow banned. But every single one of them, I thought maybe, ah, there's something you can go in here and you can change some settings or not agree to something or agree to something else and blah, 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 and you get unshadow banned. <clears throat> but that wasn't what it was. Every I went through like six of them. And after 10 minutes of blah, 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 20 minutes of blah, 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 and telling how you're shadow banned, which my videos have, every aspect of what they say is a symptom of being shadow banned. Uh, you know how my turnaway traffic is low. It's only like uh, 12% yet. My videos dropped in viewership 75% overnight. <clears throat> uh, and all these other indicators that you've been shadow banned. <clears throat> Although I didn't have to use the indicators. They just told my network. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's why my network said, yeah, you can get out of your contract because we're not making any money off. Of you." <clears throat> but, uh, all the videos on how to get unshadow banned. It's by my uh, video lecture series. And by the end of it, you'll be increasing your views and increasing your, and I guarantee it or your money back. You know, it's all those, those things. Um, are you saying that Americans shouldn't be allowed to carry firearms in a country with a higher vi violent crime rate than the U S I'm saying it's not on us to say in our country. That's on them to say. And if you break their laws in their country, well, then I don't really have a lot of sympathy for people who do that. Like when Brittany Grimer or whatever her name is, Grimy, uh, took marijuana into Russia. I'm like, I don't have a lot of sympathy for you. You know the laws. You thought you could get away with it because you're a professional athlete. So fuck you. Um, but 
yeah, it's their country, their rules. South America probably has the facilities. I doubt it. I don't think a lot of people in South America have homes, much less extra housing laying around for people. Uh, when my loans were done being sold, etc., I had fifty-eight thousand forgiven. That shouldn't have been. That should have been forgiven at twenty years, not including my nonprofit public service job. Uh, yeah, there's ways to get loans forgiven, but just carte blanche. I think it's, if you have one of the things I think should be true is if you file bankruptcy, it should include your student loans. But it has to be a certain number of years after you graduate. Like you can't just, I'm graduating. Oh, I'm filing bankruptcy now. No, no, that's not that. You don't own a rock island because you're an elitist. That might be. Uh, Odyssey. What? Odyssey. What's that? What are they talking about? Uh, did you say that you couldn't get the same viewership on Rumble that you get on YouTube? Well, of course not. Not going to get anywhere near the viewership on Rumble. Nobody gets the viewership on Rumble. Rumble doesn't get nearly as much traffic as YouTube does. Period. Even channels that are big channels on YouTube that have like a million subs and get 100,000 100, views a day. They say their Rumble channels don't do shit. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I know you have been all about saving the 40s, but are there any of the micro nines you do like? Not really. No. I mean, I'm not a big fan of small nine millimeter pistols, period. Uh, I do like the Bond Arms bullpup, but that's kind of a novelty gun. So uh, Glock Den says maybe change format and do music reaction videos. Yeah, I'm not interested in doing any videos to make money. Uh, <clears throat> I don't want to. I don't want to have a successful YouTube channel that makes money. I just want to have a channel where I can say the things I want to say, like be an activist for the Second Amendment, run the programs we want to run, and be treated fairly. Uh, that's all I care about. Uh, I don't want to have. If I if I wanted a channel that was making money, I'd do a channel on. Uh, uh, like comic books and electronics and stuff like that, or hell, if I'd put makeup on every day, or I would just sit and binge eat in front of the camera. <clears throat> but I want to be able to reach people about the Second Amendment and while we're putting the work in, make enough to support the programs we run want to run and actually help grow the community. Uh, that's all I want from YouTube. I don't want to switch to a uh, if I'm not talking about, if I'm not being an activist for the Second Amendment, then I have no desire to be here. I'm not a salesman. I'm not a fear monger. I'm not any of those things. So I don't want to be here if I can't be what I want to be. Uh, when is your ammo of choice when you carry the Smith & Wesson 360 PD? Uh, usually I carry... Uh, 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 extreme penetrators from Underwood and then one silver bullet. Um, oh, did we ever talk about the ATF thing? Uh, I've got a video coming out tomorrow about it. Uh, if you're a member, you'll be able to watch it tonight. But uh, the more I look into that thing, the more I'm like, they just executed this guy. They decided they didn't like the crimes he's committing. So they were going to do a no knock raid and, act like they were big, bad SWAT members. Every one of them is, you know, paramilitary is in their mind. Uh, and all they did serve an execution warrant on someone that didn't deserve it. Even if every crime they accused him of is absolutely true, he didn't deserve it. And it shouldn't have been executed in that way. And if this country doesn't do away with no-knock warrants, no-knock warrants solve crimes and don't prevent bad guys from repeating crimes and doesn't really catch anybody. All it does is get people killed and it prevents cops from having to take any risk. Uh, every time they execute a no knock warrant, there's blood on the badge pretty much. Uh, and it's gotten to the point where it's unacceptable. You got to stop allowing them to just execute people uh, and then portray them as their, ah, oh, that was the scum of the earth. We just shot in the face. They even tried that with Breonna Taylor and her boyfriend. They tried to pretend, ah, oh, those were scumbags we shot until there was too much video evidence and too much social media evidence to show that that wasn't true. Uh, and right now they're trying to be like, oh, oh, this guy was selling guns to criminals. And I'm like, well, they said he sold hundreds and hundreds of guns. And they said up to seven guns had been tied to crimes. 
uh, and they didn't say what crimes are they violent crimes or was it, you know, someone got caught with a gun in their car or, you know, they were jaywalking with a pistol, you know, what were the crimes at seven out of, if you say he sold several hundred guns, well, that's pretty good average actually. Uh, so that whole demonizing him to be like, it's okay that we just ran in, kicked his door down and shot him for those crimes he committed. No, it's never okay for police to act as executioners. I don't care if they were a fucking child rapist. The police arrest them. They go in front of a jury and a judge to where we can determine, are they actually a child rapist or is it a, a false claim by law enforcement, et cetera? And then if they're found guilty, bury them under the jail. But it isn't the job of a police officer to execute, uh, uh, serve execution warrants, period. And if we accept that, then we accept that there is no law in this country. And there's no due process. Um, where was I? Make sure I got all the super chats. I do. Uh, make sure there ain't been no orders come in. There hasn't. That kind of compounds the whole thing when I'm fighting with YouTube. And then there's like, well, it affects everything because not only do you not get subs, you don't get views, you can't sell your merch to fund your TY and Triple P. You can't do anything. They take it all away from you because they don't like your political position. And I'm getting tired of the fucking billionaires getting to do whatever they want in protection from the government. YouTube, all, all they got to say is, oh, well, we're not acting as, uh, uh, editors or, or uh, anything like that. So we're not responsible for the content, but then all they do is go and censor and edit. So which is it? Are you not editors? Are you not uh, censoring content? Therefore you get protection because everything just goes up or are you <clears throat> editing and you shouldn't get protection because if you're editing, then you are responsible for what goes up. You're a publisher because uh, they're determining what al is allowed to be seen. Just allowing it to be on your channel, that doesn't do any good if you make it to where nobody can see it. Uh, if you say, okay, we're just publishing anybody, anything in, uh, you know, that people send into us in the mail, but that magazine that we publish with just anything in it, well, we don't ever distribute it. We just stick it in a, a, a warehouse in a field in the middle of nowhere. Well, that's not publishing everything. Uh, that's censoring. You're still censoring because you're not treating that information fairly. Uh, what about revenue from YouTube premium subscribers? Do you still get that or videos? Oh yeah, I still get YouTube red. Uh, it's not red anymore. It's called premium. Where is that at? I can actually see that by day. If I go over here and I go to revenue source, uh, YouTube premium, uh, it's actually been up pretty good lately. This is way more than I usually get from YouTube premium. <clears throat> uh, like on the third, I got 316, then I got 496, then 57, then 423, then 581, 424, 401, $4, $4.70, 473, $4.380. Uh, and you know, that right there shows you also when your YouTube red money is actually going up my average used to be like $1.50 a day from YouTube Red. When that's going up while your regular view is going down, while your regular uh, earnings are going down, that doesn't match up because that means the number of people watching your videos probably ain't changing that much because it's probably the, still the same ratio of regular viewers to premium viewers and you're getting more premium viewers. You're just not getting your regular viewers and they're not getting paid for your regular viewers. And I still to this day think they manipulate data. Uh, I sometimes think that when we get the, the, what views we get, you didn't really get them or you got more than they said you got. And they say, well, well it just didn't perform. You know? So I don't think that they give you honest data. If they ever, I think if they ever, uh, audited YouTube's numbers that they give us. And I've had this conversation with the, uh, a network I used to be a part of the BBTV that I used to be a network part of, which is a big national network. Uh, they used to say, yeah, the, in the industry, they know YouTube lies in their fucking numbers, but they're not held accountable to anybody because this isn't 
by contract with the government or anything like that. So they just lie. They just say whatever they want. If they're afraid they're going to not meet the goals they want to make next month on earnings, they'll just reduce everybody else's earnings. Uh, they'll lie to you and say, oh, you thought you made $10 yesterday? You made two. You know, <clears throat> they do that all the time. I do that with super chats all the time. I'll add them up. And be like, oh, I made $100 in Super Chats today by their own figure. And that means I should make $70. Uh, I'll go back the day after and look, it's $26. So I know they fucking lie. They lie on the things you can even see. So I know they lie, they lie on the things you can't really see. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield said that he would show his dog how to beg by taking the dog to his bedroom. That, Rodney Dangerfield wasn't an insult comic as much as he was a self-deprecating comic, although he did do uh, some uh, uh, insult comedy too, especially like on uh, Caddyshack and stuff. Like he would say something to someone. It didn't, whoops, we got an order. What did we sold? We sold some magnets. Who bought some magnets? Oh, and a flag. Uh, it was Gregory Silva, one of our regular re regulars. One of our regulars bought some stuff. He bought some magnets. Oh, they raised the price of magnets. I'm only making a dollar and fifty eight cents on a magnet now. I was making two dollars or something on. Now it's like they raised the price of them. <clears throat> um, uh, to make the same amount of money I was making off of the magnet when they were seven ninety nine, I would have had to raise them to eight forty nine, and I or eight ninety nine, and I caught some of them and put it back down to 79, but there were a few that went through. So you might see like a magnet or two in there. It's priced at $8.99 because I still have the two, the same $2.50 price uh, profit on each one. And it's at $8.99 now instead of $7.99. So they raised them a dollar <clears throat> overnight. Same thing with stickers. They raised those. T-shirts they raised. Sweatshirts they raised a lot. I was like, good God. There's no reason for it. It's just greed. It's just co corporate greed. Make more money. They're using, they're like, oh, the media is selling that there's inflation. So let's just raise our prices when there's not really any cost driven inflation, period. In fact, we've had shrinkage over the last year. Uh, the only inflation is because uh, companies are profiteering because they can, because no one will stop them. Because the government says, go ahead. We don't care. As long as you give us our share. As long as, like, as long as Biden gets his campaign donated to, he doesn't care if companies screw you. Don't let him pretend otherwise, because we know it ain't true. Uh, we got seven minutes left till we do the drawing. So if you want to get on in on the drawing tonight, which there ain't a lot of people in on it, you better get over there. Uh, we're probably not even going to make a profit after tonight. Let's see. There's uh, probably how much? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. There's about. $40 worth of chats over there. By the time YouTube takes their share, that'll be $20. I might might break even on the hat giveaway tonight. Um, it was working for a while, though. It actually did better than most of my plans. Most of my plans lose money right off the bat. Uh, and if this stops making money, we'll just stop doing this, just like we did the t-shirt thing. Uh... Street Beater, Sanford and Son theme, should be your intro music. I love that song. Uh, 700 free holies for a used P220 and 45 ACP good. Sounds good to me. Uh, sounds very good to me. So what's the deal with the ATF and the blood on the batch? Oh, I already we just went over that. Do you hate religion or is it just Christians and Christianity? Oh, I don't like religion, period. Religion is the antithesis of science and, and knowledge, and I don't really care for that. I don't care if people are religious because, you know, I don't care what most people think about anything. Uh, it's only when they start trying to put views on other people that I care what their views are. Uh, someone else just ordered something. What did they order? Some magnets and a mug. Uh, that was, who was that? Eric Smith. Eric Smith. Well, at least today's looking a little better. We got a couple of orders. Uh, where was I at? Uh, I read the airport gun funner. Funner shot at the ATF, LOL. But yeah, obviously, then I Knox got to go. The no Knox got to go. Uh, Colorado trying to pass an unlimited roommate's bill. Never mind health code or fire hazard. Just pack 20 people into a one-bedroom apartment. Yeah, that's ridiculous. 
There's a reason those things exist. Uh, they could have apprehended him when he arrived at work. They could have apprehended him pretty much any time, any day. And all they would have had to done is wait, waiting for him to walk in the front door of his work and have two agents walk up from both sides, grab one arm and turn him around, walk him out into a car. Uh, that's really all they'd had to do. Walk him into a van, frisk him. Uh, I am behind on the chat. Are you going to make me a mod? Ugh. I promise that I have no idea how to ban people. You better not ban people. Uh, there. There we go. I got another super chat over here from John Poloni Jr. As we know him, John Baloney Jr. Sorry for all the BS YouTube is putting you through. They always want to shackle people who do good, P's and V's. <clears throat> yeah, they seem to be okay with people who fear monger. If you're contributing to division, they'll tolerate your views, even if they don't like them. If you are actively trying to divide people, they're fine with it because they want a divided society because that's, you know, they use their politicians they own to try to do that all the time and that helps them. Uh, but if you're actively not doing that and you're trying to express things in a way that is welcoming to people that they don't agree with, yeah, they don't like your channel and they will single you out. Uh, have you considered another channel with a non 2 a topic to pay the bills? Oh, I'm not worried about paying my bills, uh, but if I can't be, like I said, if I can't be an advocate for the second amendment, what's the point of being here? Things like TYM triple and stuff. Those are side benefits of being here and being an advocate. Uh, if I can't be an activist or an advocate, but then I don't want to be here. I don't want to just be here talking about, you know, the new cell phone or the new uh, Taylor Swift album or anything like that. I got other things I'd rather do with my time. If I'm not fighting for a cause, uh, then I don't feel the need to fight. Um, do, 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 where am I at? Uh, Rico Suave. Oh, where's Rico Suave? Hey, Yankee, Rico Suave here. The brother of the guy who was killed by the ATF said he was shot in the head and his brain was blown out. Well, I don't think it was blown out because he lived for a couple of days afterwards. It's hard to live without a brain. If they, if they blow your brain out, you, you're probably not alive. And he lived for a little while, so I doubt it was blown completely out. Um, Where was I? Oops, I'm on the wrong page here. Need to get back to the right page. Well, it just went to a white blank page. Ah, oh, there we go. It's back to where it should be now. <clears throat> um, where are we at? My check cleared already. Why am I not a mod? I didn't get no check from you. Um, uh, Is YouTube trying to wear you out so you want to give up? Well, yes, definitely. That's the whole thing. They know eventually you'll go away. Because uh, if you're not being able to do the things you want to do, then why would you put up with their shit? If, no one's, if you're trying to uh, advocate to people and they don't let you be seen, what's the point of being here? If you're trying to uh, do good for something and they don't let you be seen or accomplish those goals, what's the point of putting up with their bullshit? There's no point in it. Uh, Robert Edwards says, I thought we wanted to ban Welper. Used his WAP chat to say that. Uh, you could have channel with its main focus on rescue pets. Oh God, I couldn't do that. If I was dealing with that every day, like these people who run, I'd rather you give them money <laughs> because I, I can't see that every day. I can't talk about that every day. I'd be slitting my wrists in in a month. I just there's just no way. That's too much negative. Can't handle it. 
There's people that are can do that. And I appreciate those people. I can't do that. Have you ever been to a government office? It's proof that people can live quite long without a brain. Well, that's true. I mean, I go there. I don't think those people were born with brains, though. I think they have something else that, you know, helps them get through the day. Uh, but yeah, I've been to quite a few government offices because, well, one, I used to work for the government. And two, uh, I go up and do, you know, meetings with politicians every now and then and meet with my congressman or my senator and stuff like that. And I'm never really impressed. Let's just say that. I ain't, I ain't met a politician yet that really impressed me. Uh, the only politician I've ever met that was impressive <clears throat> as a person was Billy Carter. Or Jimmy Carter, excuse me, not Billy, his brother. Jimmy Carter. I started to say Bill Clinton. Uh, but Bill Clinton, because I was going to say Bill Clinton is a person that impressed me with his charm. Uh, he was a big guy, very charming. I met him at a McDonald's, actually, in Portland, Oregon, when he came up here campaigning. Actually, the McDonald's was over in Vancouver. But uh, I met him there when he was going through campaigning a while, back, a long time ago. Uh, he was actually campaigning for, for Gore, I do believe, at the time. So uh, he was impressive as far as personality. Like he's like one of those, you, you could just see he's a, a, a con man, like he's a slick willy. Uh, <clears throat> but Jimmy Carter was like an impressive person. Uh, we are out of time. Remember a long time ago, you bought matching bear pistols. You still have those. I only have one. Um, let's see. All right. I got to go over here and count the entries. Not going to be a lot tonight. Three, four, seven, eight, 11, uh, 14, 17, 20, uh, and then you get for that 27, 30. We got 30 entries tonight. So let's go do the drawing. Random number generator. Hopefully between now and tomorrow, I won't have to be fucking dealing with YouTube and I won't be as pissed off. I sat on a chat with them last night for like an hour and a half and then like another two hours today on one of their community trying to figure out what the fuck they were doing. Uh, it was not fun. What did I say the number was? 30? Okay, 30. I think it was an even 30. 26. So it's easier to go back to the bottom and count my way up. Uh, it would be Ghost Shadow again. Ghost Shadow, didn't he win once? The Ghost Shadow, well, he still gets to win again tonight. Uh, so that's the winner tonight is Ghost Shadow. Let me count from another direction just to make sure, just in case we got a chance of not giving it to him. Three, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, 23, 26. Yes, it's Ghost Shadow. So Ghost Shadow is the winner. He knows the, 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 the deal. Uh, so, and if anybody else has won one and hasn't got it yet or got a notification of shipping yet, let me know because some of them don't go through for some reason. And when I go over here and click on like on hold or change requested, it never shows me what I can actually see what's, Cause like I hit here, change requested and I'll click on it. Every one of these says delivered. So I'm like, well, why is there a change requested? On hold one. But then when I click on it, there says there's four. I, I don't know what's going on over there. <clears throat> People. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, which is not a, a, an unusual circumstance for me to find myself in being confused. Well, someone asked what my shirt said. It says, if you truly care about LGBTQ people, buy a gay a gun. Which is true. If you really care about LGBT rights or LGBTQ plus or whatever uh, rights and you worry about them, well, then buy them a gun so they can protect themselves. Maybe they can form a, uh, if you're worried about drag queens being prosecuted or, or not prosecuted, persecuted, and transsexuals being persecuted, arm them. They can start their own little fucking militia. <clears throat> I, for one, would love to see an all-tranny or transsexual and drag queen army or militia. I'd want to join that one because I, even if you're, I'm not a trans or a drag queen, but I'd still want to be a part of that one because I think that one would have the coolest parties. 
uh, and meetings. So I'm all for that. I'm all for a trans and drag queen militia. It should be nationwide. It should be chapters everywhere. I'll fucking join. Uh, <clears throat> I wonder if they'll have me. They probably won't want me. They probably won't allow any old, boring white guys. But uh, thanks, everyone, for coming. Uh, gray on gray. You can't do gray on gray. I already told you that. Uh, send me an email. <clears throat> on topic of rescue dogs, at some point, you end up needing to pull back. My wife wanted a sixth dog missing a leg, but since we had five, including one with cancer and one heart patient. Yeah, even the people who run them, I see them get really burnt out sometimes. They're, the ones who can do it for years are just, oof, I can't even look at the pictures hardly. Uh, just break it. What it makes me is it, I just go white hot with rage. Like I want to find the people that abandoned their dog because they wanted to move. You know, I'm just like, I want to find you and I want to take you by the ears and beat your face against a tree until you realize how shitty of a person you are. And since most of those people aren't self-aware enough to realize how shitty they are, it's probably just going to be tell you till there's no face left. And I, and I don't like feeling like that. That's kind of like how YouTube has made me feel. I don't like feeling like that. So I stay out of that business. I just give them money and say, ah, ah, uh, uh, do what you got to do. Ah, here's some money. <clears throat> I can't handle it. Uh, but thanks, everybody, for coming. I do appreciate it. Thanks for everybody that uh, John Heasley is missing his shirt still. I'll have to check on that. But uh, thanks, everybody, for everything you do. I appreciate it, especially those that support the channel financially, because there's very few of you. Like I said, less than one quarter of one percent that do, uh, even though a lot of you give lip service. Not you guys, of course, you guys that are in here. But I'm not talking about you. Uh, well, some of you, but not all of you. Uh, but thanks, everyone. Oh, we got another order here real quick. Let me read it. Who was it? Uh, it was Chris Fulmer. And he got a revolutionary Willie. T-shirt and a Willie versus Bruce. That's probably one of my favorite T-shirts, the Willie versus Bruce, because it has both Jaws and Mickey Mouse in it. I mean, how can you go wrong when you combine? Because Steamboat Willie, people are like, why did you make that combination? I'm like, well, Steamboat Willie is on a boat. And what's one of the most famous boat scenes ever? It's when Jaws or Bruce is jumping up on the back of the ship and eating Quinn. And then later when he comes back and he gets the uh, oxygen tank shoved in his mouth, and then shot and blown up. So, which I'm not sure how that would that that would work that way, but I don't really understand that. So, uh, but like I was saying, thanks to everybody for coming. I appreciate it. Hopefully, I won't get distracted again here on the way out. But uh, thanks for coming. Uh, I will see you all again tomorrow. Until then, remember always carry and stay safe. Until I see you again.